y'all what's up it's alicia welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to be doing a get ready with me for a solo date um i have actually been talking about solo dates on over on my instagram for quite a while now and i kind of wanted to go like more in depth um about like why i started solo dating like tips to solo date like ideas that you guys can do for solo dates just in case you guys are interested because i know that it sounds, it could sound a little bit scary to some, but I think it is probably one of the most rewarding things that you can do for yourself. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of share how I get ready. I'll share my outfit um, for today's date. I'm not doing anything too crazy today because I just wanted to go grab, um, you know, lunch at a nice restaurant, but I wanted to get dressed up and, you know, the whole nine. So yeah i'm going to share like my makeup my outfit um of course like you know myself getting ready and then i will of course take you guys along on my date i'm super excited about this video because i don't know solo dates is something that i'm super passionate about <laughs> and i feel like i've just like grown to love them more and more and i love sharing them i love like i just love to kind of take you guys along with me on instagram so i figure why not bring it on over to YouTube. Um, so as you guys can see, I am fresh faced. Um, I have nothing on my face right now. So let's hop right into it. I'm looking in this mirror. I'm just thinking about like how like nice my skin is looking. I, I used to keep my skin looking like this most of the time. And I think that's helping a lot. Keep my skin bare and also the products that I have been using on my skin. One of the biggest contributing factors to my skin looking as smooth and as soft as it is, is retinol. I have been using Neutrogena's Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Face Serum Capsules every other night and the difference it has made on my skin is amazing. If you're unsure of what retinol is, pure retinol is a dermatologist proven form of vitamin A and is a powerful ingredient that fights fine lines and dullness. The benefits of using Neutrogena's Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Face Serum Capsules is that not only is each capsule encapsulated for a precise fresh dose of retinol, but you would also see more radiant looking skin in just one week. One week, you guys. And you guys can see just how easy and simple it is to use the retinol face serum capsules. So all you do is simply take one capsule, twist and pull to open, and then squeeze the serum out and massage the serum into your skin. Neutrogena's Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Face Serums encapsulated single dose capsules keep the retinol fresh and potent. And you can truly tell how fresh it is by how great it feels once applied to your skin. It feels so soft. And if you're looking for a skincare product that does not have a fragrance, this one is for you. The Pure Retinol from the number one dermatologist recommended retinol brand is fragrance free and the capsules are biodegradable in water. So if you're ready to say bye to fine lines and dull skin, be sure to buy on Amazon today. I'll make sure to include a link down below in the description box for you to easily shop for Neutrogena's Rapid Wrinkle Repair Retinol Face Serum Capsules on Amazon. Again, you can find these must-have retinol face serum capsules on Amazon, so be sure to check out the link down below to shop. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great year thus far. I feel like, I feel like for me, January was a, was a month where I really was trying to like get back inside the groove of everything because December, <laughs> December almost took me out. I feel like I was crying so much. And if you guys don't know, I had a really bad accident. So um, I was like, not really able to move for a few weeks in December and there's just a lot going on personally I don't know I just wasn't my best self and so whenever January hit I was like you know what we're gonna snap out of this we gonna get it together and so I really started to like just kind of get back into the groove of like my workout routine just just my morning routine which I don't have a huge morning routine but I did want to get some kind of consistency going with that um just focusing on my health, my mental, physical, like all of it. And I feel like I have been 
so happy whenever you start to prioritize those types of things i feel like you're just so much happier yeah, that's kind of how i have been feeling and what i have been doing the past month or so just to really set the foundation for this year because um 2021 was it wasn't a bad year but it wasn't my favorite year and i know looking back i know like what i could have done differently to have avoided a lot of the ways that i was feeling and just the things that i kind of went through so i think that i've i've assessed and i am doing some things differently this year to you know i don't want to repeat the same routine that that's a waste of time so been changing some things up here and there and honestly i just feel a lot different but moving on to like the solo dates i told you guys that i have been like really prioritizing those a lot more um this year i mean i've been doing them consistently now for the past like let's see when did i start doing them i started doing them probably back in like 20 2019 2019 um and if you guys have been around long enough that was the year that I went through my divorce so that was the year that um I went through a separation and you know finalized my divorce and everything and the reason why I began to start solo dating was because I was going through such a tough time such as that and I was just realizing that like I was I was spending a lot of time with myself because of course like I was newly single and all this kind of stuff but it wasn't like it wasn't like intentional time. I would just be laying around my old apartment, like kind of like just like sad, like sad and not trying to grow, not trying to like learn myself. Like it was just more of like, hey, I'm just here, I'm just here and that's it. And I got to a point where I was kind of tired of feeling that way. Like if I don't be by myself, <laughs> I'm gonna make it fun. And I'm going to learn to enjoy my own company. Like, I think that, honestly, if we're being real, it should have even gotten to a point where I had to go through a divorce to learn how to solo date. I should have been solo dating even before that, even whenever I used to be married. But nonetheless, you live and you learn. And so during that period, I was just like, you know what? Like, I have to stop. Like, I have to stop, like, just laying around, being sad, being depressed. Um, it's not healthy. And I... I just don't like feeling like the worst version of myself whenever I know that I am able to just live a much happier life to do more to be more and so I remember my first solo date I had went to work and I was like you know what I want to go to the movies it was last minute I wanted to go to the movies so instead of like because i knew if i would have hit my friends up nine times out of ten um they probably wouldn't have been able to make it because it was the last minute i said instead of like hitting my friends up and pretty much being told like no nah, you know i can't make it or whatever i just went by myself and it sounds weird but that was the first time i had ever went to the movies by myself that day i had made it a point to go to the movies by myself i you know ordered all the food i went to go see i think it was like a marvel movie i think i don't remember it was a movie that i had been wanting to see for you know for some time so i was super excited about that had a great time and from that moment on i literally have like just loved going out by myself and doing things by myself and i feel like solo dating teaches you so 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 much about yourself which is why i think i love it because every time i go out by myself i like i learn a little bit more like a little bit more about who alicia is what do i like like what is it that makes me happy what kind of vibe am i going for like i call all the shots whenever i'm going out by myself and it's fun like don't get me wrong y'all i love 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 i love i love to go on dates I date so I love to go on dates I love to have girls nights I love to go to happy hours I love to spend time with my family and go to dinners and stuff like that I love being around people that I love and like enjoy their company however nothing I don't think that nothing compares to like the time that I have by myself I love to go out with my daughter just me and her 
I love to do all those types of things but I really have found that nothing really compares to the time that you have um spent by yourself and not even just like just spending time alone but like really being intentional about dating yourself getting to know yourself you do you do this for everybody in your life you're making time for people you're putting in effort for people that you love you know you'll you'll find things that you know that everybody will love you'll go to a restaurant that everybody can agree on like those types of things but it's also super important to date yourself without anybody else's input it's just to you you make the decisions you decide what you want to do you decide where you want to go you decide how you want to dress like you don't need to hit your girls up and you're like okay what's the vibe what are y'all wearing no it's it's just you you literally are calling all the shots and whenever you're doing that you are literally learning so much about yourself you become more confident if we're gonna be real you become more confident and and along with confidence i really feel like especially for my single women it prevents you from settling the reason why i say that is because whenever you are learning to love yourself and you're doing the things that you want for yourself you you don't have time to settle because if somebody if some you know some man is bringing like the bare minimum or is just not able to give you what it is that you want you already know that you can do that for yourself plus more so like i always say like honestly whoever i marry it, there has to be a benefit there it has to be a benefit because if you are doing the bare minimum or if you are not giving me like the things that I require, which I don't feel like I require a lot, but I do have requirements and I do have things that I need and want. Um, if, if I'm with somebody or if I'm dating somebody who's not giving that, I already know that I can do that for myself. I've accomplished so much for myself, by myself. I know that I love my own company. I know that if things go sideways, I'm be good. <laughs> I know I'll be good and I know that I'm going to take care of myself and I know that I'm capable of treating me the way that I want to be treated. So if you're with somebody who's not doing that but you've already solo dated and you've already gotten to know yourself and you already know that you're capable of doing that, there's no reason to settle. Whenever I get married again, whenever I just whenever, like I am definitely going to be incorporating solo dates solo travel i do believe in solo travel as well um like i and honestly i think it also if, if you're a mom i really think it's important too and this is just my little two cents i think it's super important for your kid or even kids to see you you know prioritizing yourself and doing things by yourself without your husband if you have a husband without your kids and stuff like that because it shows them the importance of self-love it just it's like a little like a little pyramid <laughs> it's like a little pyramid and it's so like when things like whenever mo mommy's good like everything else just starts to like just work out it works itself out and the best part to me about solo dating is that you don't have to wait on anyone you don't have to wait on anyone to do the things that you want to do because as we get older everyone's schedules gets a little bit crazier it gets a little bit busier and like I've seen that meme on Instagram where it's like um, adult friendships is like making an appointment. So you'll be like March 3rd I'm free from 5 to 10. Does any of those times work for you? Like that's literally how like adulting is because everybody is busy. Everybody has their own things going on. If you are waiting for the right time where you know someone is free you'll be waiting for a long time. And that goes with anything. Going out like traveling whatever like that is exactly how i feel like life is and as an as an adult so whenever you solo date you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about waiting for someone's schedule to be free if you want to go to brunch on a saturday but nobody is free like now the idea of like waiting for a a Saturday when my friends are free to go out like I that makes no sense to me like I, I just wouldn't if I want to go out to eat and my friends aren't free or whoever's not free I'm gonna go out to brunch regardless <laughs> regardless because I want to go to brunch and I want to go eat and I want to eat something good so that's like honestly the best 
benefit in my opinion uh, you know along with all the other stuff um is that you no longer have to wait for someone to say yes for someone to be free for you to do the things that you want to do and it's not even eating it can be um if let's say you want to go to a museum that like just opened and you have been wanting to go but nobody's free for a while like don't wait until someone don't wait for somebody else's time don't wait for somebody else to be free do it life is too short to be waiting around for other people and doing things on their time okay so that's pretty much it for the face last but not least i'm going to apply um my lipstick i'm gonna use this nyx lip liner it is in the shade uh brown This is really cute. This is what I do for like literally all of my makeup looks now. Like my makeup literally always looks the same because I try my best to keep it as like simple as possible. This is my face. Hope you guys are loving it. I will leave all of the, the links down below for everything that I use for my makeup. And I'm going to go ahead and set it. So I just spray some of that to keep my makeup nice and matte. I'm loving it. I feel cute. <laughs> um, but yeah, so face is done. I'm going to go ahead and throw my wig on real quick, figure out what I'm going to wear, and then I will come back and show you guys a full look. All right, y'all. So this is my OOTD for today's solo date. So I threw on these heels. They're like sandals um, with like a little mini heel i was gonna wear sneakers today but i just figured you know what it's a little bit warmer today so let me go ahead and enjoy um the warm weather and have my toes out so that's what i'm doing i also threw on some blue jeans these are just simple like straight leg blue jeans um that i got from nasty gal i love these i wear these all the time and then i'm wearing this um black off the shoulder like sweater that I got from Shein. I also wear this uh, sweater literally all the time because of just how cute it is and it goes with like so many different outfits. So yeah, top Shein, jeans are Nasty Gal, shoes I believe are also Shein. Yeah, we are looking cute, ready to go out and grab some lunch okay so the perfume that i'm wearing today is this ysl um, perfume i do not know the name of it i got it from ulta and i looked on the box as well as like the bottom of the perfume bottle there's no name so if you just went to like ulta and you saw a ysl perfume this is probably the one that i'm wearing <laughs> but it's so cute and it smells so 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 good and for today's bag we are going with a simple black bag to match the black for the rest of my outfit so i'm pulling out this ysl bag um you know i've had this for like almost two years now and i love it i wear it all the time definitely a great like staple luxury bag to have so yeah this is my purse and like i said it's warm today so i don't need a jacket um but yeah we are done ready to head out and go grab some lunch <laughs> 